Hey, everybody out there, how you doing? This is Lorenzo Carlos Bradham Baseball. Teaching Tuesdays are back 2020, our first episode for 2020, the launch angle. If there's two words that are, are, are discussed more than hitting now and are discussed in a wrong way, it's the launch angle. So we here at Gratham, we keep it real. This is what launch angle really is. So for one, every single, every single baseball, when it's hit, has a launch angle. It either has a positive launch angle or a negative launch angle. Negative being a ground ball, positive being a line drive, or it still could be a ground ball, but it's more of a line drive that turns into a line drive that turns into a ground ball or fly ball. Okay. Number one, every great hitter, good hitter hits the ball with a positive launch angle. That means line drive, fly ball. You have never heard of a great hitter who's hits ground balls. Pete Rose didn't have, hit ground balls. Ted Williams didn't hit ground balls. Barry Bonds didn't hit ground balls. Rest in peace, Tony Gwynn did not hit ground balls. They were ball in the air hitters. They hit the ball in the air, line drive, fly ball. If you hit a ball at 25 degree positive launch angle at 100 mile an hour exit velo, it would be a home run in any stadium in any part of the field in a stadium in, in the country, any stadium. So as a hitter, I wanna train to hit positive launch angles in the 20s to 25s. 15s will get me some good line drives. What we don't want to train is negative launch angles, okay? That turns into ground balls. Youth coaches, high school coaches, college coaches, and major league coaches, you know you're still doing this. You're telling hitters to get on top of the ball. You're telling them to hit the ball on the ground, yet I guarantee you if that player goes 0 for 4, with four ground outs or two double plays and two ground outs, you're not gonna be happy. Yet as soon as he hits the ball in the air and it goes over the fence, when he's rounding third, you're patting him on the back and you're telling him, great job. Explain that to me. How do we train during the day to hit the ball down and expect a good result and then when the game starts, you're gonna get a fly ball. So to create positive launch angle, you want to create backspin on the ball. And the way we create backspin is hitting to and through the baseball. And that's how you create the backspin. Can you create backspin by hitting the ball down? Absolutely. But here's what happens. When you hit it down this way, it creates too much spin and the ball does this straight up. So when you're told to hit down on the ball, all you're gonna do is create too much spin and the ball go up. Analogy, in today's pitchers, they want them to throw that four seam with a lot of spin. Why? Because the ball raises. If we get on top of it and clip it down like this, all the ball's gonna do is go straight up. If you don't have the technology, we have Soto. It gives us our launch angle on any, any swing that we take, and it also gives us our spin. Good spin for backspin, 1,800 to 2,200. That'll give you good carry. Again, positive launch angles, 15 to 25, and you're gonna be a real good hitter. How do we get there? We want to hit to and through the ball. The bat does not work east to west, not if you wanna be a good hitter, and not if you wanna hit today's velocity. The bat works south to north, and that's how it creates good backspin to drive through the middle of the field. Here's another myth. We, to create launch angle, you do not have to try to lift the ball. You don't have to drop the barrel down to try to create the angle. By hitting the ball forward, you will, con you will hit the ball on the bottom part to create the backspin, okay? What are the misconceptions on launch angle? 
Question, have you ever seen a ground ball go for a home run? No, no negative launch angles. You don't want to train to hit negative launch angles. You want to train to hit positive launch angles. Okay, perfect scenario. One out, man on third, infield playing back. Okay, situational type hitting. If I get a ground ball to second, I'm gonna score the run. I want to do that. But now ask yourself this question. In four at bats in a game, how many times do you get to be in a situation to hit like that? Maybe once, maybe zero. So situational hitting is gonna come up. But I guarantee you most likely if it's one out or less, that infield's playing in for that ground ball. At the end of the day, it is beyond reasonable doubt the best hitters in the world hit the ball up in the air. Do not fall anymore because we're in 2020 to be told to hit the ball on the ground and that's what's going to make you a successful hitter. That gets you cut. That ends your career. You will not be successful. Three, four type hole hitters, two hole hitters, best hitters in the lineup at the top of the lineup, drive the baseball. We want positive launch angle. And I'll repeat again, every single ball that you hit has a launch angle, positive. It doesn't matter how big you are or what you weigh, you still train the same way, train your swing the correct way to create backspin and true positive launch angle. It's not created this way, it's created this way. Launch angle. Peace, Dolly.